Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What do you know about the multiverse theory? Is that even a thing that could exist? Is that possible? It's definitely a topic that sparks a lot of debate. The theory suggests that there could be multiple universes, possibly an infinite number, each with its own set of physical laws, constants, and even different versions of ourselves. It's part of some advanced concepts in physics, especially in quantum mechanics and cosmology. Some physicists believe in the possibility of the multiverse, but there's no concrete evidence for it yet. There are different types of multiverse theories, such as the many worlds interpretation in quantum mechanics, where every time a quantum decision is made, like a particle being in one state or another, the universe splits into multiple outcomes. Other theories involve parallel universes formed by different initial conditions of the Big Bang, or bubbles, within a larger multiverse. Is it possible? That's still a question. Some scientists argue that we may never be able to test or observe these other universes, so it remains more of a philosophical and speculative concept rather than a solid scientific one. I don't know, is this like a new a new theory? Because I for sure hear about it in my generation as of recently, but when was the first time this actually came up? The idea of a multiverse isn't exactly new, even though it might feel more prominent today. The concept has roots stretching back to the 1950s and 1960s. One of the earliest ideas came from the physicist Hugh Everett in 1957 with his many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. This theory proposed that all possible outcomes of quantum events actually occur, each in a separate parallel universe. It was groundbreaking, but also controversial. In terms of the broader multiverse concept, other forms came later. In the 1980s, the inflationary multiverse came into play, built around the idea that during the early moments of the Big Bang, inflation, a period of rapid expansion, could lead to the creation of multiple bubble universes. Each bubble could have different physical properties and laws of nature. Today, the multiverse theory has really gained traction in both physics and pop culture, partly because of advancements in cosmology and quantum theory. With discussions of string theory, higher dimensional space, and the discovery of parallel universes becoming more common, it's definitely a more mainstream topic in physics and beyond. From Everett's quantum theories to modern cosmological ideas, it's a journey through both science and speculation. Do you want to dive into the specifics of each theory, or would you prefer a broader look at the possibilities? Oh yeah, let's dive into the speculation first. Awesome. Let's dive into the speculative side of the multiverse. This is where things get really wild. One popular idea is the many worlds interpretation, as I mentioned earlier. This one's pretty mind-bending. It suggests that every time a quantum decision is made, like an electron choosing a position, the universe splits into multiple versions. So in one universe, the electron is in one position, and in another, it's in a different one. It would mean there's a nearly infinite number of universes out there each with its own version of events. This is where those sci-fi notions of alternate realities or versions of ourselves living different lives start to feel grounded in theory. Then we have the bubble universes from inflation theory. Imagine the Big Bang happening not just once, but many times in different regions of space. Each bubble that forms could have different physical constants, like gravity being stronger or weaker, and different laws of physics. It could even mean that our universe is just one of many in a vast multiverse. Some of these bubbles might even have completely different laws of physics that would be unrecognizable to us. It's speculative, but it's also a way to explain why the constants in our universe are perfectly tuned for life. It could just be a random bubble in a bigger cosmic foam. And then there's string theory, which goes into higher dimensions. According to string theory, our universe is made of tiny vibrating strings that exist in more than the three familiar dimensions of space and time. Some versions of string theory suggest that there could be other hidden dimensions, and each one could represent a separate universe with different laws of physics. Some think these extra dimensions could be compactified and invisible to us, but they could be key to unlocking the possibility of multiple universes. There's also a more philosophical spin the anthropic principle suggests that our universe might be just one of many, 
and we just happen to live in one that's right for life. The theory could explain why we find the universe so finely tuned for life. Because if it wasn't, we wouldn't be around to question it. What makes these ideas speculative is that we have zero way of proving any of them, at least for now. We can't observe these other universes, so the theories are more about extending current physics to their logical extremes. But that's what makes it fascinating too. Some of these ideas push the boundaries of science into the realm of the unknown. One thing I find to be kind of a shame is that it seems like there's a big pushback from modern science when it comes to researching these speculative theories. I know that things have to be grounded in some sort of truth because there's only so far you can research something that you can't prove, but it seems like with all the pushback, it would take longer to disprove this theory than if they just would look at yeah, it. Yeah, that's a huge point. The pushback against speculative theories like the multiverse comes from a core principle in science, falsifiability. To be considered scientific, a theory must be something we can test or disprove through observation and experimentation. If we can't observe or measure another universe, then it's really hard to test the theory in any meaningful way which makes many scientists hesitant to fully embrace it. Sure. But you're right, it does create a kind of bottleneck where ideas that seem speculative and groundbreaking, like the multiverse, can get caught up in this cycle of we can't test it, so it's not worth pursuing. Right. Some scientists, especially those in theoretical physics, argue that exploring these ideas can still be valuable, even if they can't be directly tested. They suggest that just like how early theories about atoms or gravity couldn't be tested directly in their infancy, exploring speculative ideas could eventually lead to insights or breakthroughs that we can observe later on, even if it's in ways we can't predict yet. Also, there's this tension between being cautious and being bold in science. Sometimes bold ideas like the multiverse help push boundaries, but they can also be seen as stepping too far from established physics. It's a tricky balance between innovation and staying grounded in what can be empirically tested. The good news, though, is that some physicists are trying to find indirect ways to test the multiverse. For instance, some suggest that we might find evidence of a multiverse through cosmic radiation or by looking at patterns in the cosmic microwave background, the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. While it's not a direct test of the theory, these observations could potentially give us hints that point to the existence of other universes. I get what you mean, though. If there was more willingness to explore the unknown without the immediate pressure for evidence, we could uncover more mind-blowing possibilities. Do you think humanity might eventually find a way to prove or disprove these ideas? Or is it one of those mysteries that might remain beyond our reach? I think humanity will eventually prove or disprove it for sure, but my worry is that it won't be in my lifetime. It's something that I'm so interested in and so intrigued by that I want to know as much as there is to know about it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm worried that it's not going to be anything about it in my lifetime that I'll never know. I get that feeling. It's a tough balance, but who knows? The future of science could surprise us. So you said there was a, a way to possibly measure for multiverses in the leftover energy from the Big Bang. There's leftover energy from the Big Bang? Yep, there's actually leftover energy from the Big Bang. This energy is often referred to as the cosmic microwave background, CMB radiation. It's essentially a faint glow that permeates the entire universe. And it's oh. one of the most important pieces of evidence for the Big Bang Theory. The CMB is the heat radiation that was released about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe cooled down enough for atoms to form and light could travel freely through space. What's fascinating is that this radiation is essentially a snapshot of the universe in its early stages and it carries information about the conditions that existed at that time. Some scientists think that by studying the CMB, we might be able to detect signs of the multiverse. For example, if our universe is part of a larger multiverse with other bubble universes, there might be faint traces of interactions or collisions between these bubbles in the CMB. These would show up as unusual patterns or anomalies in the radiation, tiny irregularities in the temperature or structure 
that we wouldn't expect from just the expansion of our own universe. It's still a speculative idea, but there's research being done on this very question. If we could find these anomalies, it would be indirect evidence of the multiverse, though still not conclusive proof. The CMB is like the fingerprint of the early universe, so any weird patterns in it could give us a glimpse of something beyond our own universe. Does that spark any new angles for your video or how you'd want to explore the multiverse? It sure does, and I think I actually have a new topic for my next video. I think I'm going to take that and run with it, but thank you so much for this. That was awesome. That sounds like an amazing topic. I'm really glad it sparked some new ideas for you. I'm sure your video will turn out awesome with all that new insight. Can't wait to hear how it goes. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, you have a good night, all right? Thanks. You too. Have a great night. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. That was me having a actual conversation with artificial intelligence. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> it's like some sci-fi movie type shit. That was wild. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you to ChatGPT for answering my questions. Uh, please don't hurt me during the artificial intelligence takeover. <laughs> and uh, yeah, guys, drink water, be safe. Say thank you to Alexa. Seriously, and I'll see you in the next video.